Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What are you doing, Pip? Welcome back, my fellow Dubligans. Today I've got some more oxygen not included for you. Today we're continuing the Mere Madness playthrough, and I hope to have a fair amount of these auto sweepers up and running so that we can really tap into that next level of automation here. I'm set up to drop a lot of things down this spot right here and kind of start to sort them out down below. I think that's going to be pretty cool. Over here on the left, you can see that I'm already storing up the food. Matter of fact, there came a little bit more of it. However, I would like to also kind of store up and sort out solids as well, if that's possible. Which I think is exactly what's happening right here, because as duplicates are delivering to the automatic dispensers, things are dropping down. I think that's kind of cool. Let's quickly mop up a little bit of stuff here, because I think I might have some polluted water there, which is never good. Alright, I'm going to move our little sweepy bot here from the left side all the way over here to the right side, so that way it can set up its own automatic dispenser here and start to drop things down. That way, if we drop things onto this lower level right here, boom, we can take care of it, and that'll be really easy to clean up. Same sort of thing is going to happen right above that. I think I'll do it right here in this spot. So if I use the pneumatic doors, I can go ahead and create little holes just like that where I can drop material down and I don't really have to worry about anything getting stuck. Also gonna need some ladders here just to dig this stuff out. Soulgate, what are you doing all the way over there on the right? Sleeping on the job, dude. Ooh, and you're sick. That's disgusting. Let's get the speed running up a little bit faster here. Start to work on some other things. There we go. So what do I really need in order to get all of these auto sweepers up and running? Well, I need more refined metals. And how many refined metals do I have? Not a whole lot. I do have some iron, though. <laughs> Again, not much, but I have a ton of copper on this map. So I'm going to go ahead and process up a little bit more of that. There we go. Have another 40. How you doing, Super Meep? You found the one spot with a little bit of oxygen in it. Delicious. The left side of the map here is looking really quite good. At this point, I'm not doing a whole lot besides just building stuff over here. But eventually we'll get there and we'll start to compare the automation from one side to the other because there is a few systems that we can start to explore that I have yet to really tap into. Another thing that I really need to find here is a little bit of clean water. So right now I have this, which is good, but I'm going to use it up very, very quickly as I go and do more research. Speaking of research, insulated tiles is also really good. Ooh, gosh, gas reservoirs and all that stuff. There's a lot of things I want to research. I already kind of did a little bit more automation last time. Might as well finish this off so that we can get the automated... So that we can get the ribbon. That's real handy. So then we can start to do things like counters and whatnot. If I can remember how to make a counter. Ooh, we have salt water over here. It might be possible that we have to deal with salt water on this map. Let me go ahead and dig that up real quick. And we'll start to do a little bit of exploring as far as where we're digging here. So far, I only have one vent, and that is a carbon dioxide vent, which is right back over here. Honestly, not the worst thing in the world. If I were to put something like oxyferns down below it and actually just move the oxygen out, the thing is all of that takes water, and water is just something I don't really have a lot of right now. Let's just take a look at the temperature here. Whoo, this is cold. Wow, my map is actually getting uh, quite cold. We have a very cold biome here. Oh, hey, there we go. Now we've got another reservoir up here. Meep, you're getting a little chilly, bud. And we have a pip that we should probably start to wrangle here. And we have a, a little hatch. Nice. And look at what we have down here. We've got this pip who's already planted. Sorry, let me stop pausing the game here. We've planted right here and right here, except for they're not growing because of the body temperature. That requires anything from 15 to 40 degrees Celsius. Ooh. Ooh, we have a little bit of a challenge. So with that in mind, we should go ahead and deconstruct that tile right there, and then start to put in some heat. Gosh, I might even need to use a space heater for this. Hmm, <laughs> I haven't even researched that. So that's the space heater right there. We also have the aqua tuner, which can be used to kind of cool one thing down by making another thing hot. Another more efficient way to do this would be something like a liquid tepidizer. That way we could warm up a body of liquid, in this case probably water, and cycle that around my base. 
So the real question here is, do I want to do like an automated temperature control system? Do I just want to heat the area? I think just to get those plants up and running, I'm going to start by space heating, but like a radiant temperature controlled system for my entire base sounds too good to be true. So let's go ahead and try to get move towards that. Actually, you know what I can do? There's a, an easier way to get a little bit of heat over here. And it doesn't even require power. Yeah, buddy. This is how you do it. You make a bunch of kilns. Free heat, baby. <laughs> Kiln space heaters. I love it. And you know we're going to automate this, right? Where's my temperature sensors? Game. Game. <gasps> okay, keep researching. I need that thermal sensor. I can't live without that. Jeez. All right, so what I'm going to do inside of here is we're just going to process lots of our clay, which we have just laying around, and we're going to make it into ceramic. Boom. There we go. Lots of heat. How about that, Bacon Lord? It'll be perfect. Ha <laughs> ha. Here comes the heat, baby. Pip, what are you doing? No, 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 no. You're going to get wrangled. And you're headed right over here. Let's see here. How's the temperatures looking inside here? <laughs> they haven't really gone up. Okay. Empty storage. Disable. Apparently, we're not going to run all of these. Let's go ahead and turn the priority up on these, at least, over here. I want the heat where it matters. Uh, which means I'm probably going to have to dig out some air space right over here. Otherwise, all of that's just going to keep cooling it down. Speaking of things that need to be swept up. Actually, you know what? All we got to do is build this stuff. How are we doing on the refined copper, huh? Well, we have a lot of it. All right, hang on. Cancel wrangle for this dude. So this thing just actually planted three mealwoods down here. What I'd rather have it do is actually plant up oxyfern seeds if possible. Go ahead and try to deconstruct a bit of this stuff and see if I can get it to plant that. I would love to have a nice low level filled with oxyferns. Like that would be perfect. Man, look at how much cold stuff there is on this map. It really is just cold. What do we have inside the printing pod? Mm, oxalite, a couple of dupes. I'm still kind of at the point where I don't have enough oxygen. <sighs> Snores loudly, dun dun dun, dig errands. Well, none of those dupes are all that fantastic, so. All right, completed a lot of different research here. Boom. So now I should have a thermal sensor, which I can go ahead and place right up here. And then once we get a high enough temperature, I won't have to worry about it. So we can do this number just to kind of activate or deactivate them. But I don't yet have a filter gate, so I can't put that on there. So we'll just kind of have to go with it. So here's the other thing. When it comes to pips and planting plants, they're probably going to detect that this nosh bean and the rust fern over here are just a little bit too close. So I want to make sure I dig that up. There really is a whole video I did on the pip planting rules, although it's hard enough to remember. That is one of the requirements right there. Just make sure you have lots of space around them. I cranked up the building priorities for Ada here just to make sure that I actually get through this stuff. Because I want to have these auto sweepers do their thing. We're getting very close to needing a second power grid at this point. You can see I've kind of am, am reworking the power grid just a little bit here to make sure that the wires are in the right spot. Everything looks right. So I can kind of go in here and I can deconstruct different spots. So clean up all of these wires that are just kind of randomly laying on the in the open space. Don't need this anymore because that is not needed. And all my power is going to come from the center column right here. So the wire will be running in from there. Ooh, a rust fern is plus 70. Ooh, that is some nice decor. Where do I need some nice decor? I think I'll put that right here. I'll put it in a nice granite flower pot. There we go, Meep. Nice. Yes, dig all this up. And then we're going to sweep this area right down here. Just to try to get rid of those mealwood seeds. And then in this spot, what I'm going to use for the seeds... Ooh, I have a lot of seeds here. Oxyferns. Yes, that's it. You know what? Let's try to do something a little bit crazy. What I'm going to do 
is I'm going to dig down to this level right here. I'm going to dig up all of these oxy ferns and everything that I have and try to put them all at this level. Which means I might have to dig up those seeds and might also have to enclose this area just for a little bit here so that the pip stays in this one area and then I try to have it build from left to right. See if I can get a bunch of oxy ferns down there. So I'll grow natural wherever I can grow natural but then I'll do unnatural as well. If I need a little extra. Oh, nutrient bar. Yes. <laughs> Cannot do doctoring errands. Cannot do doctoring errands. Okay. Decor morale boost. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Farmer dupe right there. Immune to food poisoning? Wow, those are a couple of good dupes. Jeez. Oh. You know what? It's time to bring in another dupe. Husbandry? Increased air consumption. Eh, I don't know about that. Gains nighttime attribute bonuses. Gosh, that's good. That plus husbandry is like a pretty sick combo. Even though it does though, it's like a dupe and a half. I'm gonna have to go with this dupe over here. It's a <laughs> very expensive dupe, but you know what? If I make them run at night and I have them do ranching, that's a, that's a super win combo. Thalric, welcome to the base. And thank you so much for being a Patreon supporter. Boom! And your skills are going to be aimed towards ranching. Absolutely. Super Meep, how are you doing? Well, you're not really having a good time here. Maybe I'll just, uh... Well, there you go. <laughs> Have some researching. It's probably not the best skill for you because you're probably going to be stressed out. But, hey, don't worry about it. Soulgate, how are you doing? Ooh, you might as well bump up a little bit of cooking because you're right now my chef. Bacon Lord is technically my rancher, but I'm going to have enough critters to where I need two ranchers. So keep keep ranching, dude. Lerda, how you doing? Ooh, it would be good to have a plumber, but an exosuit is also really good. But that's going to bring you up to a total morale of plus 13, which is getting up there. Super Meep, dude, you're idle again. Darn. I'm trying to bring in the heat. It's not working. Need more heat. Here, let's dig this stuff up real quick. And let's go ahead and get this out of here. Ooh, which also means I need to get into this area as well. Because there's a ton of stuff I need to harvest inside of here. Auto harvest, yep. Let's try one of these spore lamp seeds. This seems interesting enough. I think I even have one right here. We can go ahead and uproot that. There we go. Apparently this is going to glow. Are you glowing? <laughs> what about the decor? Spore lamp plus 20. All right, well, illumination? No. <laughs> now Super Meep is bored once again. <sighs> Dude, seriously. Super Meep, you're too fast. I can't click fast enough. Hey, look at this. We now have three trees planted. The plan is coming together. And we have a rust fern seed over here. Excellent. You, you are going to be planted right there. And I'm just going to hope that that is actually not a modded plant. I'm not 100% sure anymore. Which means we could do this number right there, which means that that goes right there, which means this. So if I say sweep only and I disable that, here we go. Now the auto sweepers are now doing this number. Nice. I wish there was an option to say auto sweep only or something like that, but there isn't. So a dupe could possibly come up here and start delivering to that if it's an extremely low priority. Oh, there is a mod that says priority level zero. That might actually work. Of course, that would be modded, wouldn't it? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe just like this rust fern. Ah, darn it. Rust fern is a modded plant. <sighs> Sorry, dupes. Not for you. Say goodbye to the rust fern. It was nice while it lasted. Have a barrier seed. <coughs> Meep. Meep is sleeping on the job over here. Meep. 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 Wake up and go get some food, dude. All right, what can we put inside of here? That's a receptacle. Darn it. That was the wrong thing. My bad. That's not what I wanted. All right, let's get back to shipping here. I need conveyor loaders. 
I'm gonna go ahead and slap these down. That's what I wanted. Lerda, you've really got yourself in trouble now. You need to build yourself to freedom. You're suffocating. There you go. Whew. All right, so my plan for all of these oxy ferns is coming together. What I need to do is just build a storage bin right down here. Nice high priority one. And I'm going to fill that with oxy fern seeds. Oxy fern seed, nice high priority. There we go. What we're going to do is also sweep up this area so no other seeds are available. Try to sweep all of this stuff up real quick, including that down there. So a lot of that's going to be kicked up over here. And we're also building this up. Aha! There we go, the auto sweeper's doing his thing. Come on, Sweepy, you can do it. Okay, so I currently have nine oxy fern seeds right down here, ready to go. That should be enough. So now I just need this pip, you, to come on down here and try to plant that up. And I know you want to. No, no, stop it. <laughs> stop messing with the smart storage bin and go plant some oxy fern seeds. Ah, which you might not be able to do unless I bridge that gap. Let me go ahead and do that. Right, get a clear shot all the way down here. Oh, I see, you're having issues. Let's see if I can encourage that pip just a little bit. We're gonna put up a, <laughs> a critter drop off and we're just gonna try to deliver one over there. Considering these pips over here are still wild and probably hungry. All right, who's gonna get this, Aaron? Hmm? Hmm? Doops! What? Oh, because it's... <sighs> There's a maximum amount. And we're already over that maximum. I see. Crap. All right. So I'm going to have to get a little bit more creative with this. There we go. All right, so that room is nice and big, which means I should be able to go ahead and wrangle this up and bring them over there. Same with this pip over here. Come here, pip. Aha, here we go. This pip's gonna go ahead and plant up yet another little tree. Very nice. Oh, and that one's just warm enough to start growing. Good. Well, for now. Yeah, that reminds me, I kind of need to do this number. Ooh, a little pip squeak. Yes, there we go. Wrangle it up. Priority level nine. And we can bring that right on over here if we want to. Pip squeak. Perfect. Oh no, you dropped the pip down. No! <laughs> Sorry, pip. My bad. I, I didn't mean for the dupes to drop you all the way to the ground. Toilet out of order. Oh no. <gasps> well, meep. Dude, you need to work on that. Oh, I found out too late. All right, well, we still have a little bit too much water up here. Oh, uh, we can cook, we can research. I think research is more productive. Let's go for that. We need that stuff. So if this is above, sorry, hang on. If this thing is below 15 degrees Celsius, then I want it to be active. Aha, there we go. All right, so now for all of my loaders here that are actually going to get rid of all the stuff inside of here. I'm just gonna put this at a nice low priority. And you can just say everything. Yeah, everything can go in there. Ooh, ooh, except for the seeds. Please don't load the seeds up. For you at least. Which means all of this stuff is just going to come right on over here and drop right down into that one single spot. Haha. -ha. It's your job, Pip. All you gotta do is take the oxyfern seeds right here and bury them right there. Hey, how did you get out? Doops. Probably because you were, were trying to breathe or something. Who's starving? Ada, come on now. Just grab a little bit of food. You'll be fine. Or you could just go to the bathroom. That works too. All right. Well, the pip did its job, but my dupes aren't sweeping. <laughs> no! That's okay. That's actually not where I want it to plant. I want... I need to plant it here. Um, how did we build the ladder over... The plant. Hmm? How does that work? Get that seed. No! Oh, your pep! Where are you going? Bruh. Alright, fine, that's fine. <laughs> Alright. No more messing around here, dupes. Sweep. It's an easy job. You just pick it up. You go right over here. 
You don't even need to breathe. Oh, come on, Pip. Come on, Pip. No! <sighs> I didn't want that one planted there. All right. Plan B. Sweep. Priority level, please. Sweep. Priority level, please. <laughs> wow, good job, dupes. Errands. Nobody has this errand. Are you serious? Because <sighs> it doesn't... Mmm. 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 Are you serious? Mirthleaf? Are you not anywhere? Huh. No, right there, dude. Right there. Ha Clay? What's going on here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are you doing, Pip? What are you doing? Bristle Blossom. <sighs> I hope you choke on a branch, Pip. And for you... <laughs> <laughs> Why does nobody wrangle you? What? Apparently, high priority sweeping is just not a thing. Okay. No, no. You sweep. Nine. Sweep by type. I need the mod, please. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to cancel anything that doesn't look like a seed. Just hope for the best. Oxyfern seed? Yes! Success. Meanwhile, we're slowly suffocating up here. Don't worry about it. What are you doing, Meep? You're just running the... You're just running the generator. I got it. You just want to run that generator. Never mind that this is... I got it. You don't have the machine. <sighs> My bad, dude. My bad. At least you had something to do and you weren't idle. Super Meep. Dude, you got to get off this every, every now and then. Okay. Nope. Didn't want Mealwood over here. Not bad, but not quite what I was looking for. Research complete. Ooh, bunker doors, bunker tiles, glass, forge. Nice. We're gonna have to work on some better refinement here pretty soon. Ooh, we also got some new hatches down here. A few too many. So we're gonna have to move some of those over here. Auto wrinkle the surplus, yes. Critters, what do we want? All right, we'll put sage hatches over here. That'll work out. Shoot. Food has decayed. Where? Oh, over there. Hey, what do I see down here? I see a little bit of hydrogen. That's a good sign. Oh, and another vent. And our best buds, some poke shells. They don't seem very happy, though. Hmm. All right, so that's two more geysers that have just kind of shown up here. That we got one down below that we just looked at, and this one right up here. I'm curious to know what it is, and I'm not going to cheat just to figure out what each one is without actually looking. So we're just going to build up to it real quick and see what happens. All right, so now I got two pips down. Darn it. The mealwood keeps getting planted. Stop planting the mealwood. <laughs> Thank you, Lurda. Now, sweet. Please. Oxyfern. Oxyfern, yes. Ha! Good pip. Here, do we have any new skills that I can use? Star, you were looking at mechatronics engineer, and you're gonna love it. So, enjoy that. Tharic, you love to do ranching, so you're gonna skill up towards that one as well. Ada, 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 what were you going? You like to do exosuit. So that's what you're doing, although you are quite capable of doing mechatronics engineering, that's good too. I have some good morale, actually, with my dupes. How about that? There you go, a little extra for you. Meep, you'd like to supply and carry, so... The nice thing about that is that I do get an extra morale, so it's almost free. Haha. <laughs> Take that. Tell us, uh, what do you like to do? If I can give you that, that'll make you faster. Haha. <laughs> I have a lot of utilities. Do I have enough heat for these plants over here? Not yet, the body temperature is still a little low. I'm trying to bring up the temperature with the kilns, but it's just its not enough yet. <laughs> My gosh, I have a lot of stuff down here. I have been using this conveyor loader for just forever now. I am sweeping a ton of stuff. It's all ending up right here. And I do have a couple of oxy ferns down here that's doing a good job of converting carbon dioxide back into oxygen. But we're not planting this spot up just yet. Kind of has me a little bit worried. And Star is now starving. 
Hey, there we go. Got another oxy fern up. We're not able to plant in that spot just yet. Kind of confused on that one. I think it has to do with the plants above it, though, so I think I'll uproot that just in case here. Ooh, Bacon Lord just got a new skill. Which pip here is going to look at that seed and plant it up? Hmm? You know you want to. I can see you. Oh, you know you can do it. Come on, Pip. Come on, Pip. Come on. Yeah, you know you want to. Don't plant it right up here. We, nobody needs that. <sighs> All right, so after watching my own video, <laughs> I was doing this backwards. I want to plant from the right to the left. Honestly, that's like one of the most useful videos I've ever made. So we're gonna put an oxy fern there, an oxy fern there, an oxy fern there. What do we got? Five down below is what it's concerned with. Maybe I don't need to dig this one up. All right, Pips, plant it up. I want my oxy ferns. I want my oxygen. And I want my heat. You know, about the only thing I could do here is I could probably ship some of the ceramic through here. That would do it. How is there still more stuff to ship? Jeez. All right, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to put a space heater in here for right now, just to try to get that heat up just a little bit more than where it's at. So I'll bring this up right over here like this, and I'll hook in a little thermal sensor right there. Slap a little automation on it so it doesn't get too hot, and see if we can get the body temperature just up about five degrees. That's really all I need to get the arbor trees up and growing in this area. Let's take a look at what we have up here. Hmm? Hmm? Not sure. Let's dig one more tile, see if we can uncover exactly what's inside of there. Ooh, you can see that we have all three oxy ferns planted up down here, so that's good. Means I can keep stepping this out one at a time from right to left. And we'll try to kind of set this up to convert all of the carbon dioxide that really comes out above this. So I can actually fill this area here with like carbon dioxide equipment and try to get the oxy ferns to convert that back to oxygen. And as I get some water, I can also kind of put in, I can just put in planter boxes or I can put in hydroponic farms right there and actually take care of it. Aha, good job, Pips. This is what I'm talking about. So that's only emitting oxygen at 7.8 grams a second. Not huge, but every little bit counts. <gasps> Look at this, Pip, go! Good, Pip. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Who's starving? Soulgate, go eat something, dude. I don't have time for your inefficient eating habits. Now, let's see here. If this is below, let's say 16 degrees Celsius, then it is going to turn on. It will take a little bit of power, but come on, heat. <laughs> Did you just run out of power? That's not good. I'm a little worried about how much power I'm using here. How much? We're at 438 watts. We should probably hook that up to an alarm if I can. Oh, I don't have it researched. Nor do I have the cool little LED thing. I don't even have plastic for it, so I guess what's the point? All right, water. I need some water. And you know what you need to do over here, Meep? You need to mop some water. Oh boy, geez, look at all that. Meep, what, do you, what have you been doing? All right, we do have some more water here. We do have some polluted water up top. And we've got some more clean water all the way up here. What is this? <laughs> that is a copper volcano. Okay, mm so the one thing I don't need <laughs> is a copper volcano. All right, fair enough. What do we got over here? Just a bunch of salt water. I guess I'll have to work on desalinating. But so far, I'm not really finding what I need. I need some sort of water geyser or something. Otherwise, we're gonna be collecting our pee and just hoping for the best. Oh, but you know what? This down here, this has gotta be some sort of salt water geyser thing. There's no way that isn't. I mean, it's like right there in the perfect biome for it. Man, look at these pips go. There's another one. Boom. Ha, there goes another one. Yeah, buddy. Yes. This is actually going pretty quick. All right, so here's kind of a cool thing that I'm doing here. This auto sweeper here will automatically pick up the food here and put it into these refrigerators, and then this one will sort it out over here to the left, to the higher priorities. 
I'm not going to use the automatic dispenser, although I could do that as well, just kind of bring the stuff into that area. I think I'll set up the storage all the way over here on the right and actually just work with that. Hey, there we go. Now the temperature's enough where this arbor tree is actually starting to grow. Ha! Just enough heat. Maybe I'll turn that up to 17. That way, hopefully these ones down here will start to heat up a little bit. I suppose I can dig that out too, just kind of... And there we go, now I have two more seeds down here. That should be enough to finish this bottom row off. Which means we should be in good shape. I have a bunch of oxyferns down here that's converting a lot of this carbon dioxide back into oxygen. Providing me a nice passive little boost to my oxygen production. Which as right now is still... Still a bit low. But there we go, there goes another seed. And I can plant one more up right there. All right, so there we have it. I was able to get my little oxy fern farm up and growing, so that's good. Giving me a nice little bit of passive oxygen. Also, was trying to get this heated up over here. That really well, started to work until I ran out of clay, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, I guess we are delivering a little bit more. I was able to clean out all of this using the conveyor loaders, so that's nice. I don't think I really want sh sage hatches in my base, but... I have a few of them right now. They'll probably just be converted into food, though. And I've done a fair amount of sweeping and kind of automating this stuff down here, so that's good. We have a good amount of food, so that's nice. At any rate, that's all I got time for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Oxygen Not Included. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar. Out. <gasps> Look at this, Pip. Go. Good, Pip. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. QA along the way. Here's another name for the end segment, Brothgar's Aftermarket. Hmm. Leas says, you can make a big Shinebug ranch farm for egg production. Uh, and then you also kind of use that to also make an automated omelet machine. Well, one thing is that the Shinebugs don't actually give off food, but you're, uh, so Yannickier was actually talking about why the auto sweepers were not being built. And it it's kind of a weird thing because the mechatronics engineer is a different skill tree than improved construction. So the dupe, which is Meep, who is prioritizing construction, it's not the same dupe that has learned mechatronics engineering. Therefore, my priorities weren't high enough and it wasn't getting built, especially because the dupe wasn't prioritizing it in the first place. But you're right, it does need to be kicked up a little bit if they are going to prioritize it. And it also is important what dupe is, has learned the necessary skill. Definitely something to keep in mind because I forgot about that. Jacob's saying it's starting to get a bit busy. Uh, am I going to bring in more mods? Well, right now I already have 50 mods in the game. I'm not exactly sure how many I'm using, but it's probably 40 something. So there's a lot that I have yet to use. And a lot of it is really kind of different equipment that's going, that I know I have a plan for. So there's plenty that you haven't seen yet. Whether or not I'm going to bring in more has more to do of whether or not I feel like the game is going to stay stable or not. Which really comes down to just how fast can I record the series before some sort of update rolls out and things explode. B says, I'm really loving the new series format. Why not use ranches for refined metal? on the vanilla side. You know what? I have never done that. O and I, Wikipedia, what is this? Moving on. If we take a look at the critters down here, we go into the hatches. This would be using smooth hatches, which are these guys all the way down here. So they give off refined metal, but then I want to get all that nice juicy power. But then again, I've done that a few times, haven't I? What if you automatically feed the smooth hatches? Hmm. Use more... B oh! Warrior, yeah! I made a video on that a long time ago. With outhouses. I'm gonna have to add things to my notes. In case you're wondering what all this noise is about, I'm working on the 3D printer thing. Yeah, this is running here. Which is going to be the first part of many for the much larger 3D printer over here. And I also talked to Clay about our little friend Sweepy here. It has a little drink coaster, and you know what? This thing might just become a real thing. Keep an eye out for some news on that. Uh, the CAD class for the 3D printer thing. I rendered, I think, my final set of videos today. About 50-something of them. So that's moving, too. Lots of things moving. It's kind of hard to keep track of all of it. I'm kind of losing my brains here. If a modded Meep dies, I'm unsubscribing. No, Toby Cat, make sure you're subscribed. 
At any rate, that's all I got time for today. Have a great day, guys. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar out.